Whether you want to compare the before and after, just want to check which image is sharper, today I'm going to share with you a super cool trick to compare your photos very nicely in Photoshop. Although it's very easy to do in Lightroom, Photoshop, it can be a little tricky. Let me show that to you. So we're going to open up these two photos in Photoshop. So select both of them, drag it and drop it into Photoshop. There it is. I'm just going to drop it there. Now, you want to compare both of them and check which one of these is sharper. Very easy to do. All you have to do is to go to Window, Arrange. Since two photos are open, it can be done with three, four, depending upon the number of photos. I'm going to choose from Arrange to Up Vertical. So it opens up both the photos. Now, this is not the trick. So all you need to do is to select the Hand tool right there. Select that and then here is the magic. Just check Scroll All Windows. Check that. Now what happens is whenever you scroll, have a look at this. Isn't that amazing? Both of them are moving. Now, you might want to click on this one, fit screen or fill screen. I'm going to choose fill screen on this one. Select the second one, click on fill screen as well. Now the second step is going to the zoom tool. Select the zoom tool and then check this one. Zoom all windows. Check that. Now what happens is, have a look at this. You can just simply zoom in, select the hand tool or move tool or whatever you like. You have changed the settings, right? So even if the move tool is selected, you can just zoom in by holding the control and space bar on a Mac, command and space bar. Just if you zoom in on one, the other one will be zoomed in as well. Isn't that amazing? Now if you want to move around or scroll around, you can hold the space bar and you can just scroll around and compare. Let's compare the sharpness on both of these ones. So I'm going to zoom into the eye. It's a little shifted over there. No problem. Select the hand tool. Just uncheck that for a moment and bring it to position and then you can check it back on. Now when you scroll, have a look. It's all aligned. As you can see, the left one is sharper and we're going to go with the left one and start retouching with one not the two. We're going to close that one. So that's how we compare which image is sharper. Now if you want to compare the before and after, it's also fun to do. Let me show that to you. So here is an image that we retouched a couple of days ago. Let me show you the before. So this is the after actually, if we zoom in a little bit. Now this is very huge, some gigabytes or something, very huge. A lot of retouching has been done on this one. So let's zoom in on this one a little bit. And here is the before. So before and after. As you can see, there's a lot of difference, right? Now, if you want to compare it side by side, very easy to do. Just drag it and open it just like this. Now your image is floating, right? If you just stick it here, it's opened as a tab. Just make it floating. Now right click on this one and choose duplicate. And you can just name anything here just two. This is just a simple duplicate. Just bring it out just like this. Now in the duplicate, the second one as I have named it, you can just turn off all of these and just keep this one on. Right? Now you can easily compare both of those as we did before. Window, Arrange and then two up vertical or anything that you choose. You can also choose two up horizontal. Windows, Arrange and then there is two up horizontal as well if you want to compare it that way. So let's go for two up vertical for this image and then we will do the same thing. We will fit to screen for this one. This one as well, we will fit to screen. Now we can compare it side by side. Now if you want to zoom in, make sure you use the shortcut control and space bar, command and space bar and then zoom in. That way both will zoom in. If you press control or command minus or plus, it will have no effect on the second one. All right. So I'm just going to zoom in quite a bit and then you can easily compare both of them. Just check off this for a while and bring this in alignment any which way you want. You can just check this back on and compare both of them. And this can be very helpful in cases where you want to figure out whether you have done over retouching or maybe you want to figure out which image is sharper where. Sometimes what happens is there's a portrait. One is sharper on the eyes and the other is sharper on the lips. So you can combine both of them to get an overall sharp image. So to check that, 
this can be very helpful. I hope this video helped you in some way or the other and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.